Scott Peeps, thanks for stopping by. I hope you all are having a great day. Today I'm going to do a video that uh, has been requested and I have gotten many, many, many comments uh, as of lately, recently. Lots of you want to know this. I had no intention of doing this video because I felt there were enough of these videos done, but because I am of the older group and uh, my love of skincare may help you to achieve using this product in a better way. Uh, remember, not everything is going to work for all of us, and what works for me may not work for you, but I thought I would add my two cents. Yes, so that's what I'm going to do. And the video that has been requested is how I, could I please demonstrate how I use the Rachel K CC Cream. And I've also been asked the question, what is the difference between BB creams and CC creams? So I thought I would briefly touch on that. And at the end of the video, I am going to apply foundation over the CC cream so that you can see that uh, it does not change the appearance of my foundation in any way, shape, or form. Okay, I will tell you that I am a huge fan of the Rachel K CC cream. It works for me. Let me address some of the things you must do before any foundation, any uh, skincare treatment. Uh, any primer is going to work, it's best for you. You must have your skin in the perfect, in the best shape you can get it. I am a firm believer in exfoliation. If you have sensitive skin, uh, if you are using Retina-A products, you must exfoliate that dead skin off if you're using the Retina. If you have sensitive skin, there are many ways to do exfoliation without upsetting your skin. And there are many exfoliating products that are very gentle, that have very, very, very soft, uh, round uh, exfoliating beads that really are gentle. Uh, some of you may have to, some skin need more. Like I use my vitamin C mask. That helps to exfoliate. I use the... Um, white rice and milk that has lactic acid. Some of my do-it-yourselfers can help you in a more affordable way and perhaps for those of you who have sensitive skin, you is using a very gentle at-home product will work for you. Or you can simply use a washcloth. The Clarisonic is a wonderful way to exfoliate, but you must, must, must get that dead skin off or you are going to see any products that you put on your face. The next thing is, is if you have facial hair, you must get rid of that. Now how you choose to get rid of it is your choice. I simply use a blade and get rid of all this menopause fuzz. I hate it. Now I do have a little bit of, uh, a little bit that's here, because I didn't, I want to do my, um, vitamin C mask for you, but I can't do any uh, major exfoliation or anything like that before I do it, so I didn't do the razor. But I do exfoliate um, all the time. But before I do this vitamin C mask, I like to lay low on that, okay? The next thing is, is if you have, uh, you have to get your skin balanced. So if you're not paying attention to your skin or you're using products that aren't really doing anything for you, it's time that you set that, you, you go on a mission to find the things that work for you. Okay, and that means going and collecting samples, using them. If maybe you have to save a few of your dollars up for something a little bit more than what you're using, um, then you have to address those, pro those issues before things are going to look. And then for some of you, it is not going to work. Get on with this video. I am going to split my face in half because there are two ways to apply the CC cream. You can pat it on or you can rub it on. I do not find it reacts differently either way. Okay, so as I mentioned, I am using the Rachel K CC Cream. I already have a backup of it because I absolutely love it. I love it. I feel that it holds uh, my makeup on. I feel that uh, it really gives a beautiful barrier and it can act as your um, sunscreen and stuff like that. But like I said, I play it safe and I do all of my um, skincare treatment, okay? And I give it time to absorb into my skin before I go with this. Okay, so a CC cream is a, let me, let me get my little handy dandy here. On the Rachel K package, it says it's a, it's a mineral control, color control blemish balm. And it says that it moisturizes, nourishes, it's collagen enriched, it's smudge proof, it's waterproof, anti-wrinkle, whitening, and it has an 
EGF epidermal growth factor, and its SPF is 35. Just a moment, peeps. Okay, I'm back. I have to pay attention to my texts. Uh, Lou's mother is very, very ill, and my mother is very ill. Um, so I'm paying attention to my text, so I'm sorry if I'm interrupted. Okay, so getting back to the CC cream. Uh, so it acts as a color corrector, it's a brightening primer, moisturizer, SPF, anti-aging cream. Yes, so if you're looking for an all-in-one product and you really want to try the CC cream for all the, it's re you know, the reasons it states that it works, uh, you do not have to have all of this stuff going on in skincare. For me, it's a must. Okay, so I am going to take, well, let me tell you first. Okay, so now a BB cream. Um, the CC cream, they say you can wear it as a foundation. I have to disagree with that. It's not enough for me. But if you're somebody who just likes a veil of uh, foundation, meaning, you know, just your a thin layer of something, uh, um, you know, you may do well with this, but I don't, I don't think this would be good as a foundation. I really, really love it as the primer. And this one here, I use the neutral. It comes in three different colors. I purchased it from Lisa Lisa D1, and she has a blog that she sells it. Uh, she has done in-depth videos on the color choice, and she's done swatches and demonstrations of them all. I will see if I can find the video that Lisa has done and link it underneath so if you want to see the different colors you can uh, go to her video and see it because I only have the one color in neutral it works best for me it does not leave any type of cast on my skin it almost looks like nothing on my skin which you will see as soon as I demonstrate it now for a BB cream which was the first to hit and also CC creams are not readily available in the US market uh, I think that uh, the Rachel K, I think Lisa, Lisa D1 is the only one that sells the CC cream. I could be wrong on that, but I believe she is the only one. You can order it directly from their site, but uh, I prefer to order it locally because it got to me quicker. Okay, now BB creams, the BB cream I have, and I have done a demonstration on this, a BB cream is a little bit different. It is a, um, this is the Christian Dior Hydra Life. They have three different um, lines of BB cream. Uh, the problem with BB creams and CC cream, of course, is color selection. But the Hydra Light BB cream is, uh, it says, it enhancing moisture for immediate, immediate beauty. And when you watch my video, you see it happen. Right there, bud. Right there. I just called you bun. That's what I call Louie. I call him bun. <laughs> Okay, BB creams are beauty balms. Uh, they are non-brightening primers because they have more silicone in them. And with silicone, uh, the molecules, uh, it's impossible for them to really do the brightening. Neither of them are lightening, so don't confuse that with brightening, okay? Uh, this one can be used as a foundation, and that is how I have worn it. Most BB creams can because they are thicker and give more coverage. They are also moisturizers, they have SPFs, and they are anti-aging creams, okay? And CC creams are lighter than BB creams, and usually they are oil-free, okay? So, let's see what else I wanted to say. And BB creams typically uh, will give you a dewy finish, where the CC cream really doesn't. This one almost it's, it gives a, it's very, you'll see. So uh, again, if you have um, acne skin or oily skin, you uh, will not really like a BB cream because they do have more oils in them. You will work better with a CC cream because there are less oils in them, okay? But again, this does not give you that fuller foundation. The, the, a BB cream is in between a foundation and a tinted moisturizer, okay? All right, so that's what I will tell you about them right now. Now, I'm going to demonstrate the Rachel K CC cream. I've already done a video on the BB cream by Christian Dior, so I'll try to, uh, well, I can find that one, and I'll link it below for you, okay? So I am just going to take a, I take about that much, okay? And it, sometimes I use too much, sometimes I use too little. You can go back and get more if you like. Okay, so I'm just going to rub it together in the palm of my hand. So it looks like that. This one, this side, I'm going to pat it on. And that, you can see the color, okay? 
and I go right up under my eye. Now here is a little uh, tip. If you use any type, see I have a deep puffer on right now, don't rub them. You must pat or they will pill under your eye, okay? So I'm just going to pat that BB cream. I mean, this is the CC cream. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't want to say it wrong. And I'm probably going to need a little more. So I'll take this and I'm just going to do this side of my face and I'm going to pat it in. I'm going to go right up my nose. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. If you're dealing with pores, large pores, you must start oil cleansing. You must. The oil helps to break down the sebum that is clogged inside of your pores. You may not necessarily have those large pores. You may have a normal sized pore that are enlarged because they're clogged. So I will also attach my deep cleansing uh, pore video so that you can um, get to work on those pores because this will collect in pores if your pores are clogged and enlarged, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna tap that in Okay, I'm patting it in. Okay, so now I'm going to take just a little bit more because I used up uh, quite a bit of it on that side. That's why I said you play with it. You start out with less and then you can just work up to using more because you don't want to waste any of this stuff. Okay, so then I'm going to just put it in this side. I'm going to rub, okay? I work better with my right hand. Okay, so I'm just going to rub this side in. And I'm going to tap under my eye so I don't remove the deep puffer that I put under there. I go right over my eyelids with it. It acts as a beautiful primer. It does not irritate my eyes at all. Okay. Now, if you look at my skin, I'm just going to pat it. My nose is running. I go right over my lips with it. Okay. So, rubbing this side. Okay patting this side, okay? Now I'm going to come in closer so you can see. First of all, I want you to look at my skin this way, okay? It really, I mean, there's something there. You can see that it's kind of uh, just, this is the foundation you would get. Look, now this color works for me. If you're darker, it's not gonna work for you as a foundation, obviously, but it will work as a primer for you. Uh, and like I said, there are three different colors that you can select from. Okay, so here we go. I have that all done. I've rubbed everything in. I've got, let me get the top of my nose so I didn't cheat any. Okay, okay, so now I'm going to zoom in so you can see my skin. And you'll see that I do have some uh, tiny little broken capillaries. Those are genetic. My mother has them too. Okay, and I'm just going to come in closer. Okay. Pick her up. Okay, so now I'm going to apply my foundation so you can see what it looks like. I just want to make sure that I've covered all the, um, the things that I wanted to tell you about it. Yes, okay. I did. Another thing is, is uh, for hyperpigmentation, you would want a CC cream, okay, because it works on that, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So now usually what I do is I'll let it just set for a minute while I decide what I'm going to wear for the day. <clears throat> I brought over my Christian Dior um, foundation because you've all seen me use it in video, so I thought I would just use that on this side, and then I'm going to do my Laura Mercier mineral powder on this side so that you can see what the finish of this looks like. I hope this video is helping you all out. I know, see, I have an older skin, and um, you really do have to take care of your skin, and you have to get it in the best condition you possibly can get it in for any of these foundations, BB creams, CC creams, any of them to really, really do <clears throat> and look their best on you. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take, this is a, a Sedona lace brush, and I have to say, uh, I did not, I don't have any of these brushes because um, I just don't have any of them. This, this one here is fabulous, peeps. Fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to go right up underneath my eye because I have been 
avoiding concealers because of the fine lines around my eyes, which I hope my genou is going to take care of for me, you know. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do half on this side. So you notice I stippled it on and then I just lightly go in a downward motion. This is very important if you're not removing facial hair, you must always work in a downward. Okay, so there's that foundation. And then I'm going to do my Laura Mercier mineral powder on this side so you can see the finish of that. I'm so hoping this video, you'll have to just, really, you'll have to excuse me, I'm not on my game today because my mind is preoccupied with our mothers. Um, so I, I, I forgive me if the humor is not there and if I'm not running like a smooth engine, okay? <laughs> I love you peeps. I love you all. Okay, so I'm taking my Laura Mercier. I have one little horror hole open here and um, I just put a little bit of it out there. I don't really need a whole lot for what I'm going to demonstrate. And I'm just going to tap it off and then I'm just going to go right over. I go right over my eyes and I'm just going to, I go up under the eye. And remember peeps, buff, buff, buff. Okay, and that is it peeps. Now let me zoom back in. I find that with this CC cream, it is the best one I've ever used. I have, I don't have any other CC cream, so I should be honest and say I don't have any other CC cream. And I really sat on the fence for a long time. I mean, I would watch Lisa's videos and I would see it and I'd say, yeah, it's just another cream, one of those and whatever. And then, you know, I bit the bullet and I said, okay, and I absolutely love it. Love it. That's why I have a backup because you know I'm a creature like that. If I have something I love, I have to have a couple of them. But uh, I bought this at Cosmoprof for all you professionals out there. Uh, I was very disappointed in this. It didn't work for me. I think uh, that it might work for younger skin, but for me, I, it just didn't do anything for me. And it was the Sorme Treat and Tint Skin Perfecting BB Cream. It comes in several shades, though. That was the nice thing. The shade is very nice. It has an SPF of 30. Um, but it was, you know, it was just only okay for me. It really, it didn't do what the CC cream does for me at all. And I have been using the CC cream. This one here is half gone. So that's how long I've been using it. And, and I really think the clarity of my skin has changed. But, you know, that could be all my skin cares, too, because I got a lot of new mask. Ooh, I got a lot of new mask. But anyway, uh, and then the other one is, I don't even know how to say this, and I'm not going to say it, but you will all recognize the two. I think it's Bobo Chang Wa or something like that. I don't have the box anymore, and it's all in Korean. I don't know. But this one here, this one definitely can be a foundation or worn underneath. Um, the other BB cream, which I've done a demonstration, and I do love, and I wore until the CC cream, is the uh, Dior Hydra Life. And I have it in the color, it's worn off, but it's probably two. It's probably the two. Okay, so another thing I wanted to say that I think uh, a younger skin um, that uh, is looking, that's not interested in color correcting is probably going to enjoy a BB cream. But for the aging skin and people who are having hyperpigmentation problem or, um, you know, you're just looking for a better BB CC cream, I would go the CC cream route. However, if you like more coverage, this is not going to be for you. It, I feel it works best with a foundation. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in so you can see that it did not interfere with the application of my foundation at all. I forgot to do this. I always press. Okay, so it did not interfere at all with the application. And here is the Laura Mercier side. It really, that's really ugly me being that close up. Uh, it really is a wonderful, wonderful cream. Okay, that for me, almost 54 year old skin, the CC cream works, okay? So I hope this has cleared up um, for those of you wondering about the CC cream. 
that, uh, you know, it's one of those things that you're going to have to try it, but uh, in my opinion, it is well worth it. And again, if you have oily or acne skin, you're not, a BB cream isn't even good for you. You might want to go the CC route, okay, because there are less oils. So there. And another thing is, is really, I mean, the breakdown of my makeup, I used to get breakdown right here and then right in here a lot, I would get a breakdown. That's not happening for me with the BB cream. I think this is also very good for people who live in hot, humid climates. You know, so there you go. CC creams, BB creams. There are tons of BB cream. Oh, and don't, let's not forget those, are, there are DD creams coming. They are not for the face though. DD creams are your daily defense for the body. So we have those coming out too. And BB creams, um, many think they originated in Asia. And I remember in my new beauty magazine, I tried to find it before I did this. I save all my new beauty magazines because I just love them. And um, they, I, I want to say it was Germany that they actually started out, but they caught on in Korea because of the geisha and liking their skin to look uh, really, really pale. Um, I think somebody left me a comment the other day in my videos that an Asian girl would never ever darken her skin. They always like their skin to be lighter and flawless. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if it was an Asian girl leaving the comment, but that was left. But that is why, and then they they originated someplace else, but they they the movie stars and everything, or the glamour girls of Korea started using them, and that's how they took off, and Korea introduced them in a bigger way, or Asia, I should say. But mostly I think they come from Korea. Okay, so if you have any questions about the CC cream, I will answer all that I can. I will also link Lisa's video below and her blog so that you can uh, go over and see or if you or I think uh, I think it's thirty thirty seven dollars thirty eight I don't remember it's between thirty five and thirty eight dollars somewhere around there I don't remember okay so uh, I will put I will put the price right here I don't remember right here but I'll put it here for you they're not it's not over forty dollars so I think that's really if you're using it as an all in one that's a pretty darn good price okay all right peeps that's it for me today don't forget subscribe it's an anti ager. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, and don't forget, be lovable, peeps. Live, be lovable. And I have to add this. Live your life the best you can. Always. I love you. Bisou, my friends. Bisou.